what does conservation of energy stand for actually? Or what does it impact? So when we talk about the conservation of energy, conservation of energy implies that the statement all of you must be knowing that no energy is created, neither the energy is created nor the energy is destroyed. So conservation of energy basically implies that you are not creating any energy, you can only transform energy from one way to another, right? So that is that is what is meant by the conservation of energy. So when we are talking about the conservation of energy per se, so according to the conservation of energy, we have, first let's use the work energy theorem. The work energy theorem states that now 2 is equal to, let, let me not uh, rewrite in terms of uh, the expression, let me write down as the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. Okay. If I say that this is the difference of final kinetic energy and the initial kinetic energy, then what will be the work done? The work that you will be doing, so this amount of work, is because of the application of the force on or basically application of the force on the object. So this work is stored. So initially I can say that the body had some initial potential energy. So this potential energy was changed to kinetic energy. Obviously the, the storage or the energy was taken in from the storage. So I'll say initial potential energy was this and whatever was the work the final potential energy resulted into this. So initially the body had this much potential energy, finally some amount of potential energy was stored and that resulted into this kind of a final potential energy. So this is going to be equal to the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. Right? So if I just rewrite this, so what will I get? I'll get the initial potential energy plus initial kinetic energy that's going to be equals to final potential energy plus final kinetic energy right so this is the relation that we get so this is what is meant by the conservation of energy now okay so this is what is meant by the conservation of energy but let's say Let's say you are climbing a set of stairs. So when you are climbing a set of stairs, what exactly is happening? You do not need a fuel to climb it, right? You do not need a complete supply, a regular supply of fuel. Instead, you would have eaten something, so that would have given you some amount of energy. And you would be burning calories. So that energy which is stored in your body in the form of calories, so that is what you are going to burn. So when you are going to burn, obviously, how much is the rate at which you will be burning? How do you figure it out? So there comes the concept of power. So what exactly is power? Power is basically defined as the rate of doing work. So power is defined as equal to the rate of doing work. So what does this imply? Rate of doing work means how much time, in how much time, how much is the work that you are doing. That is what is meant by power. Okay. And how do we find it? Power will be given by dW divided by dt. You hopefully understand, understand the uh, concept of differentiation. So dW basically represents the change in the work done divided by the time taken. So dW divided by the time taken. So this is also going to be known as instantaneous law because when we are representing dt, dt basically represents a very very minute interval of time. So in that minute interval of time, how much is the power that is uh, stored or that is utilized? Now, how do you figure this out? Let me write this as d by dt force into displacement f into d force assuming that to be constant we do not assume that the force is varying so if I just take the force outside so what will I get? I will get dd divided by dt but this is what? change in displacement over time that is nothing but uh, the 
velocity. So I can simply say that this is a to be equals to force into velocity. So power is going to be represented as equals to force into velocity. Right? Hopefully that makes sense. Right? Uh, yeah. So this is how we come to the conclusion of power. So hopefully whatever we discussed today in the session of work energy and power, the basic concept is clear. Right? Anything that is not clear, please do let me know. We'll discuss it further. Thank you.